Hi guys, Attila here from Silanda. Christian Grotto, a 29-year-old Waikiki man, is behind bars after being accused of sending thousands of emails to an address dedicated to reporting stay-at-home violations. Back in September, Mayor Kirk Caldwell issued a stay-at-home order for Honolulu residents and provided the public with an email address to report violations. The next day, the email box was flooded with junk messages, and that tied up the Honolulu Police Department staff and prevented them from responding to actual complaints for up to two days. Now, um, it says here that over a 24-hour period, they received about 2,300 emails. 2,300 emails, that's all? Our security operations center monitors thousands of devices, so in a typical day, we'll adjust well over a million notices from uh, computers, firewalls, network switches, servers, Office 365 accounts, SharePoint, applications, internet connection monitors, inter internal network vulnerability scans, suspicious user activity alerts, suspicious software activity alerts, malicious external network attacks, malicious internal network attacks, compliance violations, and so much more. And that can get really overwhelming. A good thing, we're professionals. We take all this and filter out only the important things. And then we hand deliver it to the IT department. This type of responsibility is a compliance requirement. So either IT departments have to do it themselves, which can be a lot of work, or we help them out. Even so, knowing about problems before things get out of hand and catch fire, now that can be a real lifesaver for IT departments. Yikes. Sorry! Anyway, it looks like arresting Christian Grotto is a good reminder to the public. Don't f with the Honolulu Police Department. And one more thing. Quick message to the courts. Windows 7 was sunsetted and made end of life by Microsoft way back in January. All businesses, especially those in healthcare or doing work for the government, were required to replace these systems prior to this deadline. Continuing to use Windows 7 is a massive security risk and, not to mention, it's pretty irresponsible. The security flaws in the operating system are so bad that even Microsoft can no longer patch them. Now, we understand that IT departments are under more pressure now than ever. So if you have uh, questions or need assistance, feel free to reach out. We can help. I'm Attila from Silanda. Stay safe out there.